I'm Kathy Eldon, and I'm the founder of Creative Visions. I'm a creative activist, and to be a creative activist, you have to want to do something good in the world. You have to have a creative spark somewhere inside you, and you decide that you want to do something that, that will change the world around you for the better. So you don't have to be some grand person to travel around the world to do something great. You can start right where you are and, and do something. We coined the term creative activist many years ago uh, just to represent the sense of creativity and activism. So it's, it, we invented the word a long time ago. We originally started off talking about media that matters and then somebody trademarked it. So we thought, hmm, I guess we can't really use that anymore. So we thought, what is media that matters? And it's really creative activism in action. We focus on art, music, dance, drama, film, storytellers who are telling stories that need to be told about problems that need to be solved. I was a journalist in East Africa, in Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, working for the largest English language newspaper. And I had a little boy who trailed along behind me, and he became a photojournalist for Reuters newspaper in Somalia, and told really very harrowing and tough stories. Tragically, he, Dan, together with three other young journalists were killed uh, in Somalia in 1993. And at that point, Dan was only 22 years old. But he'd already made an impact through his photography, through his filmmaking, primarily through his photography. So I knew what it was to be able to make an impact in the world, both through my journalism and then through Dan's storytelling. So it was important to me to try to help other people who really wanted to tell stories that mattered. So we created Creative Visions, uh, focusing on creative activists, people who are using media and the arts for social good, in 1998, really to assist other people, just to pri provide that support, that nurturing, that, oh my gosh, a place to tell people what your challenges are and what the solutions might be, and then to help provide those solutions. So we believe that a creative activist has to inform, yet he, she has to inspire, but then we have to empower that action and then you can really make a change. If, if you just do one of the three, yeah, it's good, but it's really not gonna make change. I always say, you know, we can't change the world. That's really, really hard, but we sure can change the world around us. Over the years, we've done many varieties of outreach, and we've had film festivals, we've uh, had all sorts of events here on our veranda. We're having Sundowner tomorrow night. Uh, but the, the, the event that I'm most proud of most recently is an event that we recently held at UCLA. It was sponsored by SCOL, uh, Institute for Social Impact Entertainment Media, by Participant Films, by uh, Vulcan, the studio, and co-hosted uh, with UCLA School of Television, Film, and Radio, and Theater. <laughs> and it was a wonderful four-hour event, which we packed with the most interesting speakers that we could possibly find. And there were about 500 RSVPs for this day, so the, the, the hall was always filled. But it was really examining how do we make impact media, how do we produce it, how do we fund it, and how do we get it out there in the world. And telling the stories that need to be told with the people who should be telling them. So that's terribly exciting. We've just been uh, and, and asked to do yet another conference uh, in another place. So I think we're going to be a lot doing a lot more of these convenings. I'd like to do convenings around sex trafficking, human trafficking, around prison reform, around the environment, where we get the people on the ground who are really doing the hard work together with the media makers who don't always know what to attach their projects to. There's not enough communication. I did my first film, uh, social impact film, let's start over, in 1990, I produced a film on ivory poaching called Lost in Africa. It w took years to get this thing going. We actually shot it in 1992. It was incredibly difficult to make it happen. And it was before social media. So, okay, you make the film, but how do you get the message out? In my son-in-law, John Turtletaub, who was a director of National Treasure while you're sleeping, the kid, many major films, says you have the studio in your pocket. Your smartphone is essentially a studio and you don't need a lot, anything much else to at least get a story out. The challenge is that the marketplace is very crowded, distribution is, although it's more accessible, it's still, it's, it's really hard to get messages out there. So although 
it's it's uh, imp social impact entertainment media is uh, on everybody's lips. It doesn't mean in a way that it's that much easier to get your actual story to the body of people you might want to get it to. You know, in a world of such dissension and discord, disharmony, it's really possible for us to come back together, to find a sense of community, of creativity, of collaborative it endeavors, to find a sense of our own spiritual connection to the earth, to the air, to the land, to the sea, to one another. This is all totally possible, and it it requires focused intention, but, but we can do this. We're looking at those people who are adventurous enough to step off the beaten track, to work with others, and to, to envision another, another possible world that we can create together. So I couldn't be more excited about the future. I never look backwards. I only see what we haven't done, and it's a very bright future ahead.